Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I'm going to go over a Kickstarter project that I found online called FreePlay Zero, FreePlay CM3 by FreePlay Tech. I am not going to give a recommendation on whether or not to back this project. I'm simply bringing it to your attention, and then I will also give my impressions on this Kickstarter. So let's get started. In a nutshell, this is basically just a handheld emulation device that uses a Game Boy Advance shell and uses the power of a Raspberry Pi in order to run RetroPie to play emulated games. This is definitely for a do-it-yourself kind of person as there is soldering required on the FreePlay Zero option and there is assembly required on the FreePlay CM3 option. Now, a couple of good things. First and foremost, this project has surpassed its kickstarting goal. And the second good thing about this, although there are only 67 hours left to, to go on this project, I do believe based on the information that I've read that they do plan on selling it once the Kickstarter is over. So you will have, you will probably have a chance to buy this in a online store in order to uh, build one yourself later on. It just might be a little bit more expensive, that's all. So to take a look at the two options, the FreePlay Zero and the Free, FreePlay CM3, we'll look at the FreePlay Zero first. Basically, it's this kit here. So you can see you get all of the guts except for a few major pieces. So you can see you get the board that registers all your button presses, you get the speaker, you get a screen, you get the two additional buttons that aren't found on a Game Boy Advance, and then you also get parts that you need to solder. So what you will need to, to uh, provide on your own is listed right here. You can see the Game Boy Advance shell, the Pi Zero, the S micro SD card, as well as a battery. So the assembly that's required, here are the tools that you need, a drill, soldering iron, screwdriver, wire cutters. But a good thing about this is there's an hour and 12 minute video to show you exactly what you need to do. It goes through it from beginning to end. Now for the FreePlay CM3, it basically uses the power of a Raspberry Pi 3, so it's considerably more powerful than the uh, FreePlay Zero. And you can see here they've kind of just gutted it, the Raspberry Pi 3, and made their own custom board that will go inside the Game Boy Advance and there is no soldering required. So that's really cool. Um, but this does not come without any risks. So I'm going to go down to the risks of both options right now. And you can see here in the risks. So there are similar risks to the FreePlay Zero and FreePlay CM3. Um, first and foremost, with the FreePlay Zero, you can see here uh, parts. Finding good quality parts might be an issue. They might have some issues in, in tracking down quality of parts. You can see the quality of speakers they received once an entire batch was unacceptable. So I guess a pro to this is that they are looking for quality parts and they won't settle for something that is completely subpar. So that's actually very nice that they're doing that. But it is also a huge risk. Now, with the FreePlay CM3, there is a considerably higher risk with the FreePlay CM3 over the Pi Zero, the FreePlay Zero, uh, because first and foremost, with the Pi Zero, the FreePlay Zero, they actually harness the power of the Raspberry Pi Zero. There is an actual Raspberry Pi Zero that you purchase that you attach to the board that they give you in the FreePlay Zero. However, with the FreePlay CM3, they are building the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 3 into the actual board. So they are designing a board from scratch. And as you can see here, um, they've designed the first prototype, but they haven't fully built it. So that is a huge risk because there are a multitude of things that can go wrong or that, that may require extra effort. For example, if there's a heating issue, if there's a connection issue, if there's a compatibility issue, they've got a working prototype, which is, or proof of concept, I should rather say, 
before a prototype using a third party circuit board, but using their own circuit board, uh, which they haven't fully built yet, presents a big risk. There is a considerably higher risk with the FreePlay CM3 over the Pi Zero, the FreePlay Zero, uh, because first and foremost, with the Pi Zero, the FreePlay Zero, they actually harness the power of the Raspberry Pi Zero. There is an actual Raspberry Pi Zero that you purchase that you attach to the board that they give you in the FreePlay Zero. However, with the FreePlay CM3, they are building the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 3 into the actual board. So they are designing a board from scratch. And as you can see here, um, they've designed the first prototype but they haven't fully built it. So that is a huge risk because there are a multitude of things that can go wrong or that, that may require extra effort. For example, if there's a heating issue, if there's a connection issue, if there's a compatibility issue, they've got a working prototype, which is or proof of concept, I should rather say, before a prototype using a third party circuit board, but using their own circuit board uh, which they haven't fully built yet presents a big risk. So while it will be, if it is successful, it will be considerably more powerful than the FreePlay Zero. There is no guarantee that this will work. There's no guarantee that the FreePlay Zero is gonna work, but at the same time, um, this is considerably more risky. So if, if someone's, you know, if you're a risk taker or you have full faith in them, if you read up on them, then you know this might be a non-issue but for me right away the amount of risks that's in the cm3 i would personally just wait until they've built the actual prototype or have built one or two of them and they work and they've got the issues and bugs sorted out i'm just not confident that i would like to be an early adopter on the free play cm3 now the free play zero on the other hand is a less risky option there are still risks involved definitely but at the same time as I said before, you are harnessing an actual Raspberry Pi Zero, which is the real meat and potatoes in this because it is the processor and it's got everything on it that the board that they use, that they're producing will harness the power of that. So one really cool thing about this whole project is that retro modding this website here, if you go into the actual website, go into DIY products, and you can see the FreePlay Zero CM3. And they've got all the parts that you need to purchase listed right here. So I think that's pretty cool. And just to give you an idea too of the overall cost, I just picked out some parts from the retro modding site. And you can see here, it costs around $77.92. And I've just done, I've selected the Raspberry Pi, a lithium ion battery, um, you can select different colors, micro SD card, ignore the Kickstarter backer number and confirmation number. I literally just hit keys to fill in so I could add it to my cart. Um, shell color, they have glow in the dark green, which is actually really cool. They're glow in the dark blues out of stock. They have clear. Um, you can choose button colors, a glass or plastic screen lens. So you can find these parts for cheaper in other places, but it's easier, in my opinion, just to go to one stop here, have everything arrive at the same time, and it's really just a few bucks more. So a lot easier option, in my opinion. And if you're not a do-it-yourself kind of person, you can just have them completely build it for you. So it's 177.91 instead of 77.91 or 92. It's basically 100 bucks for them to put it together for you on top of your 89. And if you take a look at here, this is what you pay for the free play uh, zero. You would be paying $77.92, which is this price, plus $89 for their backer kit, which is $166.92. And if you want them to build it for you, it's an extra $100. So I'll just be specific and add $99.99, like they say, which brings you to $266.91 for the completely built for you free play zero. All right, so to end, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this Kickstarter project. I'll start with the pros. 
they have a really good idea on their hands, this is very innovative. I think this is great for the do-it-yourselfer. It makes things a heck of a lot easier. I like that they use the Game Boy Advance uh, shell. And I like all of the customization options. You can choose the button color, the shell color, or whatever. And I really like that. I like that they use the Raspberry Pi and that RetroPie can work on it. And the final pro for this project is that I believe the price for all of this is very fair. All right, and now to move over to the cons, just to be fair, and I have two of them. Firstly, the FreePlay CM3 seems to be a huge risk considering there is no current working prototype. My last con, which could be a pro for someone else, uh, are those X and Y buttons above the B and the A buttons. They look and feel different than the B and A buttons. As you can see here, they're considerably smaller and that's what the board comes with. And to be absolutely fair, if you're an extreme do-it-yourselfer and you're very, very skilled with soldering and electrical, there's probably a way to configure that more to your liking. You might need to hack up this board a little bit I can't say for sure that you can do something like that. I haven't even seen the board, but it might be able to be done. So as always, I'm going to leave a link to what I've showed you in the description and feel free to check it out. That's all I've got for today. Thank you, everyone. Take care.